I'm Marissa Semkew. Trudeau's abortion problem, that's the topic of tonight's byline. This week, a candidate by the name of Philomena Tassi won the Liberal nomination race in the riding of Hamilton West and Castor Dundas. For those of you who don't remember, this is the same riding potential star candidate Zach Pakin withdrew from last winter because of Justin Trudeau reneging on an open nomination for the Trinity Spadina by-election. But I digress. What makes Philomena Tassi such a noteworthy candidate is not who her father is, but that she is a pro-life candidate and has been nominated by Justin Trudeau's Liberal Party of Canada. In an interview, Tassie was asked, in light of her pro-life views, how she would vote if a private member's bill was introduced calling for an abortion law. Here's what she said. I'm not for criminalization, but you know what? You've got to see that bill. No one can say categorically whether they would support something like that or not support something like that. Let's see what you are showing me, and then I will make the decision. How refreshing that a prospective member of parliament wants to actually read legislation before they make up their mind on it, unlike her leader who's mandated that all potential caucus members already make up their mind on any legislation touching this topic that hits the floor of the House of Commons. Remember, this is the same leader who months ago came out in favor of a private member's bill titled the Reform Act. In his support of the Reform Act, Trudeau said this, We believe MPs should be their community's voice in Ottawa, not the Prime Minister's voice in their community. Unless, of course, they happen to disagree with the leader of the party if they're Liberals. Now, as Justin Trudeau tries to have it both ways, let's take the opportunity to review what Trudeau considers to be pro-choice. Voting, quote, pro-choice on any potential legislation means that the third party leader would expect his caucus to oppose legislation to prevent, say, gender side, as he told me last April. Let's say uh, a woman comes to you, she says she's pregnant with a girl, and she wants to terminate the, life of the child because it's a girl. What would you say to her? My uh, position has been very clear. The Liberal Party is the party of standing up for people's rights. Uh, and uh, the uh, Liberal Party will always be uh, the party of the Charter. So we will continue to stand up for people's rights and not legislate them away. Similarly, many reasonable Canadians who consider themselves pro-choice oppose late-term abortion. Not in Justin Trudeau's party. This is not a black and white issue for most Canadians. Sure, there are strong advocates on both sides. But for many, there are shades of grey. Philomena Tassi would not rule out supporting an abortion law. Furthermore, she said that no one wants to have an abortion. Sentiments like that, although I disagree with, are anybody's definition of reasonable. Justin Trudeau mandating a stance on such an important matter of conscience, ignoring the nuance of this difficult issue, is certainly no one's definition of reasonable. Now, last night, our own Faith Goldie caught up with Justin Trudeau to ask about whether he'd red light his newly elected candidate. His response won't come as much of a surprise. Pro-life Liberal candidate Philomena Tassi says that she's not opposed to voting for some sort of version of an abortion law. Will you allow her to run under the Liberal banner? Uh, any candidate who passed the green light, uh, the green light process uh, has committed to vote uh, the party line in respecting women's right to choose. Full stop. Thank you very much. So there you have it. Philomena Tassi must vote the party line, which begs the question, will she double down on her pledge to consider future legislation based on its merits and risk getting fired as a candidate? Or will she recant and adopt the blanket position being mandated by her party's leader? Only time will tell the true strength of her conviction. And that's the byline.